Bruh, is that the best you got? Here is the true challenge. I dare you to make a game using no code and different engine than Unity. And the worst, you have only 7 days. I feel this a lot, so I give you 5. Either I finish this game now or I give him $200. First of all, let me clarify that saying I have no experience while having uploaded 27 videos for the past 2 years isn't really true. But I've almost never touched Unreal, mostly because my old ass laptop couldn't handle it. But now that I have this new PC, I'll give it a try. Plus, I won't write a single line of code and only use Blueprint. How hard could it be? This can't be happening! I started off exactly at 12 pm on a sunny Wednesday on April 16th. 2025. As I mentioned, I have absolutely no experience with Unreal, meaning I don't even know how to install the engine. So the first step would be to download Unreal, and the most important thing when installing it is to have a monster PC. And I was pleased when I realized that they have a dedicated YouTube video tutorial on how to just install it. So, following along with the kind lady, installing Unreal Engine is easy. I chose the latest version and hit start. I'm literally having difficulties installing just Unreal installing engine the engine. Is easy. What can only imagine how hard the rest of the process would be. Now, I know Unreal is powerful and it should take a lot of SSD space, but what I was about to witness, I was never ready for. 14 gigabytes! Well, that's gonna take some time. While Unreal is being downloaded, let me go on ahead and explain the rules of this challenge. I'm only allowed to use Unreal for game development, meaning for rigging and animations, I can use Blender. I'm not allowed to write a single line of code, only Blueprint. I'm not allowed to use any AI, because it's cheap, meaning no ChatGPT, no Grok3, no Gemini, no nothing. And to top it all off, I'll have to do it in under 5 days or I made a pact for myself that if I fail, I'll have to give him $200, which is pretty much everything I've made from YouTube so far. And my dream of finally buying a microphone will be gone. Also seems like making a game with no experience and making a game in Unreal is currently trending as well, so yeah. I've also hosted a new Discord server that you guys can go ahead and join via the first link in the description. After one hour of scrolling through endless instant dopamine doom, I went on ahead and opened up Unreal and made a new project using the first person template because I'm planning to make a first person horror game. What the fuck? <laughs> Unreal surprisingly booted up way faster than Unity, almost double the speed. And the first thing I did was pressing that play button. That made me jump. Now this is pretty cool and all, but I have no idea how to do anything from here on out. So I searched for some Unreal tutorials and found this great series of videos. Or so I thought. If you've been looking to learn the 3D software of the future, we are talking about Unity. What? No, what are you talking about? We're talking about Unreal Engine 5. That's right. Fuck off. Following along with my countrymen, I made this scene and I must say, I'm speechless. Unreal is literally unreal at how easy you can make stunning scenes from just a few clicks. But is the blueprint as good? Following up on my progress, I quickly, or maybe not so quickly, managed to make a door. Now you might be saying, well, it's just a door. There's nothing special about it, but no. I'm building the base for my blueprint journey with this. Then I went looking for some horrifying and cursed 3D models. Because my modeling skills are ass. I found this hospital asset pack, which is high in quality, free in price. <laughs> so the idea is that you're suffering from brain aneurysm, just like me and you're currently trapped in a hospital. You try to escape, but suddenly a monster chases you down. Pretty original. <laughs> I am allergic to bad ideas. And I managed to make this beautiful looking hospital room in Unreal. And just to be clear, it would have taken me a lot more time to make such thing with Unity. But that also includes optimization though. Then I added the door mechanic, and now you can open it up, 
and go through it. Or not. Normally when you open doors you can go through them. Except if your mom is walking the way. But in this case you can't. And that's a problem. And when I tried to solve it, I realized that Unreal handles its collisions way different than Unity. I started tweaking a few things here and there and none of these make a difference. And for almost 7, seven minutes. minutes, I had to look through articles just to realize how to make a proper collision system. Maybe I suck at searching. Or maybe Unreal is a bad damage. Now, what I've made currently looks pretty good from the inside. I don't think I can fix this, so I'm gonna have to optimize the game if I release it. Then I wanted to make a system where if you sneak up into a door's window, you can see what happens inside. Usually with Unity, it's as simple as disabling one camera and enabling another, or changing the priority of the cameras in Cinemachine. But Unreal had a different way. First I found a pregnant lady and threw her into the room. That doesn't sound so good. Then I downloaded this alien model and made it so this alien has escaped from the lady's belly, which is pretty nasty stuff. Then after writing all this blueprint, drag and release code, I managed to make the camera switch to the one on the door. But there's no going back to the original. Guess that's the price for eavesdropping. I tried to just disable the main camera and enable the other, and then do the reverse later on. But it seems like Unreal is incapable of such a simple concept. There's a good chance that you're a Unity user like me, where you could easily disable or enable game objects. I couldn't find a good tutorial, and with almost one and a half days gone... Wait, that's a days gone reference. I was about to give up and go to sleep, until this one thought came to my head. You know Five Nights at Freddy's? Okay, so the first night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll play through- The game has you consistently switching cameras back and forth, so what if I just searched on how to make FNAF in Unreal, and then followed along with one of those tutorials? And with my 200 IQ strategy and a ton of blueprinting, I gave it a try and... it doesn't work still. When we switch back, we all out of a sudden become shorter i don't know how but unreal pulled this bug out his ass i'm not gonna lie i'm really unhappy about that with my brain aneurysm reaching its limit i finally figured a way to fix this then i added the monster in one of the rooms and made some kind of a jump scare but then proceeded to spoil it in this video it's the next day and because of the absolute waste of time we call university half my day is gone but I managed to create the rest of the level. You see that key over there? Yeah, if you find a locked door, you're cooked. And it just so happens that the door to outside of this hallway is locked. And upon interacting with it, the lights are out as well. So you go back to grab the key from the monster's room and you see that the blueprint isn't working again. It literally took me almost an entire day to fix this issue because I had to deal with enabling and disabling things again. And with my therapist being concerned about my mental health, I managed to do it and move on to the next step, which had me enable and disable things again. Now, normally you'd say, well, you've already done it once, just do it again, but no. In Unity, I would just get a reference to the object I wanted to disable and write game object that set active false but in here you have to manually tell the game not to render it and then disable its collider and then stop its blueprint function from working and at the end nothing is gonna work so instead of enabling and disabling what they call actors in this engine i decided it was easier just to teleport the actor to the desired position i'll admit unreal sucks when it comes to enabling and disabling objects. Andrew, if you're watching this, I have less than one day to finish this game, and it still doesn't have an enemy, which is a crucial for this game. So I found a good tutorial in which he literally just made a few clicks and the enemy worked. How hard could it be? So I did the same things and... Uh, this can't be happening! 
F As we were getting closer to the end of the timer, things started to go south. Blueprints not working, animations not playing, and so on. I was literally going insane until I realized I forgot to make an AppMesh modifier, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a mini map that tells the AI how to get to the target. And now he can follow us like a creep. But as we went through the door, he suddenly stopped and went into a state of consciousness that he realized this was not worth the trouble and he just needed to enjoy his life. What actually was causing the problem was this door blocking the navmesh modifier, telling the AI that there's an obstacle and no way to go around it. Thankfully and surprisingly, this was pretty simple to solve. And with almost 15 hours remaining, the game is now finished. Or, or is it? There are no sound effects, which is why you hear Barry the Light playing in the background. Oh, well, it's copyrighted, so you can't hear it. Adding audio was as simple as just dragging and dropping the file into Unreal and then giving it a reference in Blueprint. Easy as drinking water. I woke up today and recorded one last video of the game thinking that it was finished before going to university. And when the time was up, I realized I totally forgot to make the jump scare lose screen that you see on horror games. But I consider my game finished because I really need that $200 to buy a microphone for my channel so you wouldn't have to hear my voiceovers in this shit quality anymore. Now the conclusion of this video narrows down to this one question. Will I switch to Unreal? After all that brain aneurysm, I will never do such a thing. So I will delete Unreal right away. No, I might use it to edit my videos later, because it's a very powerful tool when it comes to 3D. Now like, subscribe, and get out of here.